There was a wing fest today. I've yeah, been. Oh, that's what I was today. You were at the wing fest? I've got the hats in my bag. Would you eat a parrot? They're like a pretty intelligent yeah. bird. So I'm just if wondering. You can acknowledge what the chicken feels, but you've got to also acknowledge, like, does that matter? Does so, what a chicken feels matter? There's birds yeah. that can do things that I, can, uh, I can't do. Exactly. And are they more intelligent than you? Is that the hierarchy? Should they eat you? Do you believe human beings have a superiority complex? Like, I, I, believe, I, I believe we have a superior complex. I, I also yeah. believe that we are superior to other beings. <laughs> All right, we're at the Derby Wing Fest. It's incredibly loud here, but I've got a different idea. I think that's enough, eh? <laughs> we're going to see if we can get persuade people to eat VFC instead of tortured animals. Fair, did you hear about the Wing Fest? Oh, just around the corner. Awesome. I just went there. They're eating 60,000 wings in two days. Do First you love wings, though. Yeah, oh, well, I used to too. I was a meat eater for most of my life, but I don't like this. Yeah, this is gas-chambered yeah. birds. This is a breeder shed. That's where their mums and dads come from, actually, of the birds that people eat. This is so common, bro. This is what people are eating. You're joking. Yeah, they're only three weeks old at this stage, but they're like nearly, they're nearly, they look like adults, but they're not. They're still little babies in their mind because they're only, they're only babies. I believe like a hierarchy. Obviously, like your life over a chicken, I'm gonna, you know, if there's a gun to my head, I'm gonna choose you to, to survive, right? But there, there's a choice between this suffering and like choosing something different to eat, you know what I mean? I think they're worth more in a hierarchy than my taste buds, you know what I mean? It's just easy, it's just easy access in it. So I just eat what tastes good to get me. Yeah, but bro, if you, she said to me, what would you eat right now? I'd go straight to Subway and get a vegan sub with vegan meatballs. Oh yeah. And then they've got, they've also got vegan chicken there. Right now you can go to McDonald's, right? And get the McPlant, it's a vegan. Uh, the McPlant. Have you had, have you had it? It's good? Yeah, I always have it. That's the only thing I have from McDonald's now. Great. Really? It's vegan, but like, I, that's the only thing I have from <laughs> McDonald's. Well, that's gone. Yeah, they did it. Honestly, yeah, it's really good. Meat. It's, We're yeah. I'm gonna take yeah. that store. I'm gonna try yeah, but that's how. This is how easy it is, right? To avoid that. To avoid that, you have to care a lot about it. For example, like if I if I step on an ant, obviously I'd rather not kill it. In the same way, I'd rather not kill a chicken, but I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah, but you don't go around like this. True. true. No, I don't. But if you see an ant's at, at nest, time, if you see an ant's nest, you wouldn't go like start jumping on it. No, no, no but no, at the same no, time, it's I, a I deliberate do, thing. I do think like, like life is precious, and I, I do think like if you were to eat meat at certain occasions, say like Christmas, by like almost sacrificing the chicken to eat the chicken, it fe oh, it's almost feels like a. Um, not a prayer, but it almost feels like a, a yep. good sacrifice. There's you, and there's another. Animals. There's another party who's not consenting. There is, but I don't. So, so I it's don't like against that. their will. Yeah, I'm talking about a hierarchy. Actually. There might be a hierarchy between you and a child. You're more intelligent than a yeah. child, you know. But that doesn't no, mean no, that. But I don't want to get confused. The child is still in my hierarchy, like in the, in the no, level well, of hierarchy. Well, well, how do you determine a hierarchy? Because, because yeah. I'll tell you right now, a baby, an infant is not very intelligent. So you, you, you probably, you, you do it just from potential, you do it from current state of mind. Hey, hey, who's yeah. measuring this? It's up to you. Yeah, exactly. So that so we, the oppressor of the animals, dictate who's better and who's more superior, who gets yeah. to live and who gets to die. Like, uh, So I decide a chicken's worth nothing. I can kill him when I want on a Christmas day just for my taste. So when people have that power, the world is always going to be messed up, isn't it? Because people have had that power over other people before, haven't they? Just look in history, it's exactly the same mentality. Yeah, it's the same mentality. I, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't there's a hierarchy. There's... We're superior. We're superior. Look, it's always happened. Humans on humans. It's we're superior mindset. I, I do believe we're superior to chickens. But in what way? In what we bring to the world. But some people don't bring more than others. Are they superior to them? Like the worst person in the world is brought something better than a chicken. Hitler I was pretty intelligent, educated, right? Intelligent yeah. person. Are you choosing? To survive, Hitler or a chicken? Well, I kill mean, like, Hitler. Hey. Hitler was a I mean, like you don't so, want World so War II to happen, but you could argue that if World War II didn't happen, there might have been a worse war yeah, and like, yeah. it's inevitable. You could earn that route. I don't want Jews to die. I don't want Gypsies to die. I don't. Want, I'm not you, a, you, don't you don't want bad. Exactly. So some yeah. people's not worth more than the dirt on my shoe. If it was a fly and Hitler, I'm choosing the uh, fly to live in. I feel like a human a human life is valued more, no matter what badness they've done. I feel like it's still valued more than a chicken. Yeah, I disagree. I disagree. We are doing horrible things to these animals by the billion, right? and they did nothing wrong to us. And our argument is we're superior to them. That is our argument. We are superior to them. We just, like, do you think that's a, like an ethical argument to do this to the, the birds? I've thought about this a lot. I do think it's ethical to kill a chicken to eat it if it's had a good life. And I'm struggling to overcome that barrier. So what do you think it's community. ethical to kill, to kill, basically, essentially? Yeah, because I, I feel like we've raised them for a purpose, for one. Yeah, but I could raise people for a purpose and no, kill but, them. No, but, but that, that, that doesn't fit into the hierarchy, so I'm yeah, talking you, about the hierarchy. You haven't, yeah, if you define the hierarchy, then I'd, yeah. I'd be able to understand more. So what, what is this hierarchy? 
Explain to me. Is it intelligence? It, intelligence it, it, plays a part, but I mean, obviously, there's stupid people and there's smart people. So I'm not uh, saying exactly. You should, no, no, no. I'm not saying you should kill the stupid people. No, no. But I'm saying as a whose human, rights matter more? He's he's uh, say he's got an IQ of 180, he, he and I've got an IQ of 50. I've never met this guy. He matters just as much as, as yeah. me. I've got basically the intelligence of a chicken. You still wouldn't kill me and say, uh... You're a human. It, you, you pass what if the I had criteria. A good, what if I had... Okay, so the criteria is human. If you were disabled, if you were disabled, then you, you're essentially a... See, I don't want to say a, a, ve a veg... I get you. I get state. you. Yeah, yeah. I understand I you. I still value... Yeah. I still so value you. it's arbitrary. So basically you're saying the thing that you value is this category called human. And, and is it the DNA yeah. of a human being? It's being a human. I think being being a okay. person, having intelligence is a, is. Um... You know, we've said that intelligence is not the factor here, so you got you can't use intelligence now. No, I think I think you can because it's also like part of the potential. You just said to me about the people who have a disability. Yeah, but the, but but like they were born with the potential. No, no, some of them are born without. You would still give them rights, wouldn't you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course. So it's not intelligence for you. It's no, this category it, no, human. I do think it is part intelligence because. Yeah, I just... Okay, so if I wasn't intelligent, so to, if, let's just say I was as intelligent as a chicken, would you be okay with killing me for a sandwich? No, because you're so, a human. So it's exactly. So it's not intelligence. Because you qualify in that in that yeah. quota. And I get I get what you're saying. I'm not. I'm so if you what I was trying to do there is remove intelligence and yeah, see yeah, if you'd yeah. still kill me, and it's no. So it's not intelligence. It's not one aspect. It's it, it's a multifaceted argument. That's but what it's I'm definitely to say. not intelligence. No, but in, no, it is because intelligence is part of the multifaceted argument. No, um, because if we remove it, you still wouldn't kill me. Say if you're a chicken, yeah, so, I'd kill you. So let's look at. <laughs> let me let me let me ask sense. you this. I'm yeah. gonna do. I'm gonna flip it. What do chickens have in common with us? They have consciousness. Exactly. They're so they're, con they're conscious and aware of the, their surroundings, and they yeah. do they suffer? Of course they suffer. So they feel pain. They suffer. Do they have a desire for well-being? Exactly. Most animals do. Chickens People definitely do. People suffer as well. It's, it's, well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a part of life. It's yeah, yeah, part yeah, of life. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So we, we have that in common. That's what I'm trying to find, common ground here. Yeah. Like a chicken, if they knew they were going to die, they would try to avoid it, wouldn't they? Yeah. I, I get your argument. When you've got other options, there's no legitimate argument you can raise. No ethical justification. Yeah, yeah. But what, I, I understand that. What also is part of it for me is I do think there's almost a beauty in consuming a living thing for a special occasion because it's almost like a celebration of life even though you're killing life which is a weird thing it's like a, it's like yeah a, um, i think that's just your conditioning bro i think that, that you've been conditioned um somewhere along the line that you know this this sacrifice this like is a good thing but the animal is not a willing participant there it's not a willing help yourself my friend help yourself go to the business in here nah i'm an activist oh so you're against all this chicken and all are yeah yeah there was a wing fest today um, around the corner. I've been. Oh, that's where I was today. You were at the wing fest. I've got the hats on my back. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. I, I, that's Are what you I'm serious? Yeah, I'm you went to the wing fest. Oh, I just went what? there too. You got the wing fest hat on. Yeah. You paid twenty quid. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So how many wings did you eat? So we tried one of each. So one bowl of each. Yeah. And, and I. Well, so wait, 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 I want to count. Like, give me no, a number. No, give me no, a I'm number. Not. If it was, it was eight, but that's four birds. The thing is, it's reckless. It's reckless eating that that amount of. Birds. Birds, and that's what I was trying to get you to the point of, of like sacrificing. I was to the point where it's no longer sacrifice, it's just, uh, it's just pure reckless. I, I just want to ask you just one question, because yeah, yeah. I've been dying it to ask. It uh, wasn't worth killing the Can chickens. I ask you, yeah. would you eat a parrot? You know, I've got a parrot here, they can say, hey, what's your name? I mean, like, what's your I'm, name, bro? I'm Jordan. <laughs> They're like, hey, Jordan, hey, Jordan. They're like a pretty intelligent yeah. bird. I'm just, uh, I'm just if, wondering. It, in, in a context of if I've got other food around, probably not. If I was starving, yeah. yeah no, you got, you got vegan chicken around, you go yeah, to the supermarket, you get vegan. Well, there's no reason to. Okay. There's no reason to eat chicken either. So, yeah. like, that, and that, this, this is what I'm saying. There's no Just argument that I can say that I'll combat yours. The vegan argument is a sound argument. The so, why aren't you vegan? Why aren't you vegan? Sorry to cut you because off. Because it's, I mean. it's a laziness, I, I assume. It's a, it's a laziness. Bro, uh, you know when I went vegan? When I was fresh out of jail, still uneducated. Fresh out of jail, uh, ex-alcoholic uh, and drug addict. I had no money. I went vegan because it was the right thing to do. That also gave you purpose. Yeah. It, it, it gives you like... Yeah, something. of course, it did. It, it, it did it, give me a bit yeah, of exactly. purpose. But also, I do truly believe in it. It's not like a, some ideology that I don't truly believe in, because this is reality. Look, I know it's not worth killing something. If, I always think if I if I was served some food now, would I want to kill it to eat it? Exactly. If there's a bird right here... Nine times out of ten, it's not. Maybe on Christmas, like, yeah, I've so do you, do you, know what I mean? but, you think most people at that wing fest, right, yeah. today, do you think if I gave them a knife, a little bird like this, do you think they'd be able to cut their head off? Out of all of them? So how like, many? How many? What percentage do you think of the people? Lot. Not, not a lot. Not a lot. I remember I was in, I did some voluntary work in Tanzania, and we got to kill a chicken for like the, the dinner kind of thing. It was, it was quite surreal. It was the first time that I'd, I'd killed something 
personally, and then ate it. It felt good in the sense that like I, I proved something to myself, like I'm, I'm willing to accept the fact that I've, I've taken this life so, and ate it. And yeah. I've taken that so you responsibility. Faced it, you faced it, yeah. I, and and I, I could stomach that. But did you feel a certain way when you cut through their throat? You were oh. justifying it to yourself, but did you feel like, oh, I'm really looking forward to slicing this chicken's throat? No one looks forward to these things. It, it... And how does the chicken feel, do you think? Do you think the chicken was scared? I think it gets to the point where you can acknowledge where the, where, what the chicken feels, but you've got to also acknowledge, like, does that matter? And that, that's the crux of it. Like, does so, what a chicken feels matter? Yeah, yeah. And to some extent, obviously I care because I wouldn't want to eat meat that's raised in, in a, a chicken. So you do care what they feel to a certain extent? Yeah. And when you, but I just wanted to know that individual that you cut their throat. How do you think they felt in that moment when they're about to die? But I don't think they have the capacity to think. You oh think my they God, can get I'm scared? No, but they, they, they might not know exactly what's going to happen to them. But you can, you can, you know, they're going to be scared, eh? Like a little baby wouldn't know they're going to die. They don't even understand death. If you slash their throat and they're pissing blood out of their throat, you know they'd be terrified in their last moments, yeah? Yeah, I mean there is an element of that. The end is never good for anyone. So with science, they're saying we can grow meat in a lab. Um, in a lab. Petri dish, yeah, yeah. Cool. Is that, is that? I'm cool with it. You're cool with that? Stop doing it. As long as it's not attached to a yeah. sentient conscious being that had to be tortured and killed. They yeah. could grow your flesh in a bloody Petri dish, but if they start killing you for it, then I'm going to speak up. It's not about the meat for me. It's where the meat came from, who it came from. We're literally growing food off of conscious living beings that deserve the right to exist. Where do you draw the line on what's sentient or not? There's a certain point where it becomes gray. A lot of things haven't been studied, but many insects and oysters, I think that's where it becomes the lines become blurred. The animals that we generally eat, most of the fish, chickens, cows, pigs, lambs, there's 100% say that they are sentient conscious beings. The hierarchy only matters when it's like, there's a, there's a burning house situation. You gotta save your mum or a chicken or a dog and a chicken, like that's when that, that really matters. When you're talking about slaughtering a bird for that sandwich, you know what I mean? Or choosing like a vegan sandwich, that's the choice. It's like, yeah. choose a vegan option or yeah, kill like, the chicken. I, I think when I'm in a supermarket and there's, there's, there's meat on the, on the shelf, I think like, I don't even think of it as meat, I think of it as the animal. I'm like, I'm gonna chop its head off right now, I'm gonna pick it up. That, that, Cause that's, that's a, essentially the choice you're making. I honestly do think that humans are different to other um, So, I, I think animals. so too. Uh, uh, other, we are obviously different, but it's what, what we share in common that I care about. Yeah. And that's what I care about, that they there's someone inside of them too. I can't argue with you with anything, but I don't know if it's because I'm too lazy or it's how I'm conditioned, how I'm brought up, if there's not enough options out there, but I, do, I, I, I don't know, I, do, I just feel like I'm not ready to give up eating chicken. Another discussion is eggs and well, dairy. Well, eggs and dairy. I, I, I do think, like, I, I accept vegan debate, fine. The vegetarian debate is also fine, but I do feel like there's an ethical way to obtain their milk and them to continue. Well, there's a way that you can get meat without it being unethical and through a lab. Yeah, there is. So there are, of course, yeah. there are ways of doing things. What I'm concerned about is what they're doing now, impregnating cows, taking yeah. their calves. And I don't think we should see milk as a product. Like, as soon as we saw um, eggs as food, milk as food, meat as food, that's where industrialised factory farming come but from. Do you agree with the idea that in this context, like being in the UK, it is bad, but whereas if you were in, I don't know, like where I was in Tanzania, for example, and they, they, they need a cow, it is part of their daily livelihood. That's a different story. Or do you feel like they shouldn't be using the cow, whatever? When you remove civilization as it is and comfort, the level of morality that we can sustain in civilization changes because you're in a survival situation there. Because we're in civilization and we're comfortable, we approach each other like this. But if we we're in a survival situation, we'd probably be trying to shoot each other and rob each other. And it could even be that bad that we'd be trying to eat each other. Hostile. Take away civilization, take away all the money, take away all the food. I'm starving, I might eat you. So there are situations where morality can't exist as it does. There are different justifications there's, for different situations. I think it's in Islam, people say, I think it's inshallah. That means like if God willing or God something, willing. something yeah. like that. Yeah. And that's them saying basically like, oh, if God, God wills it, then it will be. And in the same way, I'm not trying to say humans are God, but I'm trying to say like we have the power, so it will be in that sense. Saying we have the ability to, and we we, we also have them. the ability we have, to. We have, we, have the, we govern them. Yeah. We have the. Of course, we can protect and the vulnerable. We should protect the vulnerable in society, like cows and chickens and children and those who can't defend themselves. Of course, like I've got the power to harm a child or harm a dog but I, I know my power. Yeah, yeah. You're not differ differentiating it between a human and an animal. And, it, and that, that's, where I, that's where we disagree, because I, I feel like... 
Well, it just yeah. when it comes to killing them unjustifiably, no. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But like the burning building scenario, when there's like choose one or the other, that's a different story. You're talking about killing them for a sandwich. That's why yeah. I said like wings first. It's it's not necessary. It's needless. It's too much. It's needless. But what about out of, outside of wings? Wing first. You go to the supermarket. You go. There's some chicken. I'm gonna choose to buy it, said, paying for everything that happens. Said, to like, I think, I think, yeah. in moderation. I don't believe you should eat meat every day. I don't, it's too much. It's needless. Could I um, eat dog in moderation if they live the life of a chicken? Obviously, you're saying that because like dogs are pets and stuff like that. I would have an issue, and then you're gonna. Ask you would me, have a moral what, issue. What's the difference between um, a yeah. chicken? What, what's and the a moral, morally significant difference between I, a chicken and a dog? It's the level of intellect, for one. Uh, no, you equalize the intellect of a chicken to the intellect of a dog. So. I, don't think, I don't think chickens are as, as smart as dogs. No, well they are. They are in many ways. What I if it was a stupid dog? I, agree with, you, I what, agree with you on a lot of things, but I will never agree with you that saying that a chicken is, is, is smart in, in, as a dog. In, no, in many ways, like a little baby chick. There's some good research on chickens and chicks. Upon hatching, a, chick, a baby chick can recognise their sibling. They know when something has been covered that it hasn't actually disappeared. Mm. Um, so they're pretty smart. Um, but you said that intelligence is not the moral differentiator between thing is in, in, in life nothing's ever one one sole reason because you only it's, care about this intelligent things when it comes to dogs versus chickens you don't care about it when it comes to human beings because it doesn't matter if someone's less intelligent doesn't it expose thing. some double standards do you feel because yeah, yeah, you're, you're applying some a logic over here but then when it comes to these food animals you don't for sure but don't. I mean like I'm not trying to say you're perfect because I know you're not perfect but of I mean like not, no. humans aren't perfect in general we're and, imperfect and, like, yeah we don't have to do this though like, we can be imperfect, we don't have to do this. Do you know how many animals are slaughtered by humans every year? Yeah, I watched, I, I watched a documentary and I watched, um, it's on YouTube. Right? Dominion? Dominion, yeah, yeah. You watched that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what am I even talking Sorry, to you for, bro? Like, you already watched it? I, I was yeah, going to I was going like, to tell you to watch it before you I went home and that you already... Dominion and, and, I, and honestly, like, it, it got me thinking, like, is this the right way? And I know it's not the right way, but you part of it is culture. Like, if I were to walk down this high street now and Subway was serving all non-meat alternatives, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd eat it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really care. It is a cultural thing. There's so that many is. horrible things have been cultural and are, are cultural and we never would say because it's cultural, it's morally justified. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because think of different cultures where they do some horrible things, you know what I mean? Well, you can only look at like FGM yeah. and, and slavery going back. I've never come across a discussion where a vegan has lost a debate because at the end of the day, their hypothesis is sound. The thing is, people aren't willing to cut out what's culturally like part of them. Yeah. And it, and it takes a big step. You're, you're actually more aware of this topic than a lot of people I speak yeah. to. But you're still on autopilot a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it is autopilot. Maybe it's part of denial. But I mean, I know it sounds bad me just saying this. But when it comes to um, chickens, for example, this, this video, I don't care enough. If it was like cows, I'd be like, ah, I'd, eat, I'd buy in more. I'd, there'd be more of a moral, do you know what I mean? Like Because a bird and a, and a cow is like a mammal looking like a dog. They're closer to us than a bird. And then a fish is even further away from us. If they can experience the world, they deserve rights because they're a subject. You're not your body, you're not your brain. You're the subject having the experience and that's who deserves the rights. These chickens, they're not just flesh and bones. There's someone in there experiencing that suffering and that's who deserves the rights. You're saying that their rights should be allowed to be taken for a sandwich when we can eat something else. Say if I own like the chickens and I knew they were like in my garden or whatever. You own them? Yeah. You own these chickens? I knew. And I, what are you going to do? Gonna, oh, that's another, uh, You're going to own, the, own these conscious beings in your yard and then do what you want with them? I mean, that's a good argument. Yeah. I understand what you're saying and I can't pick holes in your arguments because it, it makes sense on every level. It's like uh, I own a couple of humans in my backyard. If I want to do what I want to them, I will because there's a hierarchy here. Oh, well, what if I had that mentality? You'd be like, come on, man, that's not logical. Do you believe human beings have a superiority complex? Like, I, I, believe, I, I believe we have a superior complex. I, I also yeah. believe that we are superior to other beings. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, <laughs> you hear what you just said? Yeah. You said, I think we have a superiority complex yeah. and I also <laughs> believe we're superior to other beings. I do, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, in many I, ways, I, I, yes. And, but, and you believe that as well, because but, you believe you're, you're superior than well, muscle, in many, for example. Because you said there's a, there a grey area. Of course, area. of course. You know I mean? You're and, right. And, you're right, yes. that's something that we agree on. Yes, you're right. Uh, I just don't believe that um, our perceived superiority should justify a mass murder of beings. Yeah. A bird is superior to you because they can fly and you can't fly. A fish is superior to you because they've got lateral lines and they can see like a sixth sense in the water. There's birds with like a honing 
radar and they can sense where they are on the Earth. There's, there's birds yeah. that can do things that I, can, uh, I can't do. Exactly. And are they more intelligent than you? No. Should they, is that the hierarchy? Should they eat you? Should we chop you up for the birds? The vegan argument is a sound argument. You can't pick holes in it. You really can't. From an, an environmental aspect, you can't pick holes on it. You, from like an ethical standpoint, yeah. you can't. Yeah. It, it, what it boils down to is, is a cultural thing, laziness, and, <laughs> and just having the ability to go out and, and do what you do. I know you, you're saying to me, oh, if I want to, I can go out and buy all my vegan stuff in the shopping and stuff. But when it, when it comes, like if I've had a drink and I'm coming down here and I just want a sandwich, the level of guilt isn't going to be there. For well, me, when I used to drink, I'm, I used to just walk up to people, bang, punch them straight, yeah, and yeah. the level of guilt wasn't there, yeah. you know? And that was cultural for me. I come from gang, gangland, you know, South Australia and the northern suburbs. We were stabbing people, we were drinking alcohol, so that was just the cultural norm for me. But you would just say, look, well, you know what, mate, that's just not good enough. Did you think of the victims of I, your... I, yeah. think, I think a reason why a lot of people... I don't want to say hate vegans, but like, they say, oh, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing this. It's because it... <laughs> It triggers something inside them that, that says, actually, they're kind yeah, of right, yeah, but I'm yeah. not willing to admit to it right now. And, and they get defensive. And then it's just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, you don't I, seem defensive, bro. You seem... I'm uh, not defensive, but like, I, it, what it is, man, it's, it's, it's just laziness. Yeah. It's, it's literally laziness. I'm, could, you could, I be, could I be more proactive? You probably, could. You could. Probably, but you like... Could. No, you could. I, I, at the end of the day, I guess, in my mind, I still pleasure taste over ethics because I don't think that deep into it. If you if you have that mentality where you're just deep in everything, it can ruin your life almost. And sometimes it's easier, especially in this scenario, to just not... To block it out. To just block it out and just be like, it tastes nice. And, that, and that's what it is. And, and I, I, I think people like you should be around because it, it, it makes people, at least other people like me especially, have, like, become think, aware. Think, every, I think a lot of people are aware, but it's, it's, it's challenging them to think about what they're actually thinking. Now this is the English chicken industry. We're just, uh, we're just at Wingfest. I'm just showing people what happens in slaughterhouses and factory farms here. This is me. Feeling this certain way, like, yeah. oh man. Do you eat chicken? I do. Yeah. I did. I did. Yeah. Oh, mine. It's not. This is standard. I, I film. That's me there. This is standard practice in, in the UK. Factory in most uh, chicken farms. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. Like if you go into ninety-five percent of chicken farms here in the UK, you'll see dead chickens on the floor, suffering yeah. chickens. Like uh, know, on the cheapest ones, you can find like uh, rings around where the bottom of the drumstick is, and where they've been sat in their own. Yeah, uh, they get hot burns from the uh, ammonia yeah, yeah, on the floors. So it's yeah, it's like an yeah. abrasive like thing. I, I, I've got to go. Take this, man. Honestly. Stop paying for it, eh? You're a good person. Honestly, You're a good person, mate. Makes me poor. Have a good don't, time. Don't pay for it, bro. Hey, stop no. giving them your money, and they'll stop doing, doing it. Doing they don't, it. Yeah, they only do it because. Good people yeah, give them the money. Yeah, yeah, and we don't see that side of... Oh, there's the a disconnect there, man. Yeah. So make the connection and... It's easy, you can go in there and get man. a vegan chicken sandwich right now. You're a good it's man. everywhere. You're no a good worries, man. brother. You're Take care. Look after yourself. No worries, bro. See ya. One, one less chicken eater on Earth right now.